everything that we do on stage is a problem to be solved. And there's a little structure. And the most important part of that is once you recognize the problem is that you find it interesting. Not that you panic, not that you get frustrated, not that you get angry, but that you go interesting. And because from that psychological standpoint, you can come up with a solution. I mean, I was watching your re rewatching your kind of seminal uh, slack rope um, routine. If you if you look at it again in terms of problem solving, every every little number in that big number is a little problem to be solved, mm -hmm. and it follows the the structure that you see the problem. And breath, by the way, which is something I really took away from the Lecoq school and an understanding yeah. of breath. Uh, it stops you. And then you find it interesting. And that's an exhalation. An exhalation is a relaxation, a detente. Uh, when you inhale and stop, your body is going into freeze, fight, or flight. That plays havoc with the audience's emotions if you're in rapport with the audience, which is a whole other subject. Uh, you find the problem interesting and then you think to yourself, oh, I know how to solve this. And that's what sets the hook in the mind of the audience. When you go, oh, and that's an inhale. I know how to do this. And then you do it. And if it solves a problem, you are satisfied. If it doesn't solve the problem, you just go back a step and go, wow, this is even more interesting than I thought. Yeah. So for me, clowning is all about success and finding things interesting. And by the way, that's the, the perfect response to any problem. It's great for relationships. It's great for raising children. Mm. And it's great for clowning. <laughs> Whatever they say to you, can I have ice cream before dinner? Your tendency is to get angry. But what if yeah. instead you go, oh, interesting. When, when we first discovered this, my wife, Julie, and I taught at the barn for over 30 years together and really developed this pedagogy and the, the, these uh, eccentric principles. Yeah. We started calling it eccentric because clown has become such a four-letter word. Mm, it's amazing. always mime if you think about it. Um, yeah. Our son, who was about 10 at the time and grew up at the workshop, he was sitting at the table after dinner one night doing origami. And I said, Zeb, so should you be upstairs doing homework? And he looked at me and went, interesting. <laughs> it's automatically funny. Uh, when he catches himself on that clock on the face of the building. He looks up, he looks down. Interesting. Yeah. And from there, he can solve the problem.